You're watching Let's Chat. Good morning and welcome back. If you're looking for a couple of killer books to put on your summer reading list or your fall reading list, I've got a couple of titles you might want to consider. Author Brian Powell is joining us here again this morning. Brian, good to see you. Good to be back again. Last time you were here, the pandemic was just within striking distance and you were coming out with a pair of thrillers there about a pandemic exactly. that was going to take everybody by storm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> did you have any idea that really lightning was going to strike when those books were coming out? You know, it, uh, I didn't. But after it came, the books came out, I thought these are not going to sell because people are so COVID tired that they don't want to read anything about it. Right. But I've had a really good response. Good. And it was amazing how similar some of my story pattern followed the pattern of what we see uh, nowadays. And you have come out with two additional titles, Sins of the Fathers and Sins of the Mothers. Yes. These are, sum them up for me in 15 seconds. Well, they're historical fiction. Mm -hmm. Sins of the Father is set in Houston, Georgia. Hush right. as in push, not Houston. Houston, Georgia, that's right next to uh, uh, Adairsville. And uh, uh, it's set in 1864. Mm -hmm. Uh, two pirates battling over Confederate gold. Uh, Sins of the Mother is a First World War spy novel. And these two are not related story-wise. Not related, wise. not related. Even though there's a lot of similarity in the cover art, they right. are not related. Let's make that uh, very, very right. clear. As a writer, when you're sitting in front of your computer or word processor, even if you're doing it by hand, how does your mind have to shift to go from um, historical fiction to another genre or back again? What kind of mindset do you have to put yourself in? You really have to become part of the story. And uh, you're, you're in the car with the people, as it were. You're mm -hmm. in the story. This is your environment. And you begin to uh, live out vicariously uh, what they're saying and their reaction and how they um, uh, deal with the crises that, that they're facing uh, uh, throughout each chapter. What made you shift genres? That's a good question. And um, it's just a matter of, um, I guess, interest. Uh, I was, I've always been interested in historical fiction. Right. And I, did, I enjoyed the research, enjoyed re learning these true things. You know, you'd be surprised how much true storyline is in each of these stories. I can't imagine the thought process and the amount of work it must take to do one book, much less two, and you wrote these kind of simultaneously, right? One after the other. Well, you did one yeah, after the right. other. I finished the other and then I started on the next one and I had to try to time it because I didn't want my sales from Sins of the Father to be inhibited or or uh, altered by sure. the sins of the mother. So I try to put six months, seven months between them. And, and with the editing and all of the things that go into it, it takes about that much time. I can write a book in a month, but right. uh, all the other stuff. A lot of people tend to think that um, the life of a writer is something you hear a lot about, that it's a <laughs> life of leisure. You can pick up your computer and write 15 minutes a day and then take two weeks off. It's quite the contrary. It's a very disciplined craft. Right. Yes, yes. Uh, I, I bought a chair specifically for that purpose. Right. And I sit in that chair and I'm at work. And uh, generally, I, I don't have anything going on in the house. If I do have music, it's something that is uh, very soft mm -hmm. in the background. But I'm focused. My wife said, did, it, did anything happen today? I said, there's a lot of stuff that's happened today. In between my ears, it's quite noisy. <laughs> sure. Uh, <laughs> what, is the, uh, what is the biggest compliment a writer can receive? When someone comes and buys your second or third book, mm -hmm. anybody can write one book and people will pick it up out of curiosity and read it and they say, oh, that's a nice book, and they move on. Right. But when they come back and they buy book two, three, four, and five, sure. which that happened to me last Saturday, they came back and bought four and five of my series, it's like they had to have really enjoyed that book to come back and buy additional copies. Where can we pick up a copy of Sins of the Fathers or Sins of the Mothers or both? Well, they are on my, uh, my website, mm -hmm. uh, author Brian Powell at uh, wordpress.com. Right. I also have a Square store 
uh, and if they will contact me, I'll give them the link so All they right. can uh, go through that process. Sounds good. Brian Powell, thanks so much for joining us. Again, we'll show you and tell you how you can pick up a copy of the book. Brian, we look forward to seeing you upon Thank you. your next release. Thank you so much.